Hello YouTubers and welcome to Destination Lego and welcome to my latest Lego set review. Okay guys, so this is a review of set 76010. Um, this is from the DC Comics Super Heroes line. Um, and this is Batman, the Penguin Face-Off. So this comes with 136 pieces, recommended ages 5 to 12. And it retails here in the UK currently for £11.99. And that's from the Lego Store or the Lego Store Online. Okay guys, so let's take our first look at the set now. Okay guys, so there's a first view of the complete set. We're going to break this down and look at each section in turn. So first thing we're going to start off with is the penguin and his crazy duck boat. So let's take a closer look at that now. Okay guys, so there we go. There is the penguin sat inside his crazy duck boat. So let's take a 360 tour now. And finally, now looking at the crazy duck boat without the penguin in it. So we'll just take a close look at some of the features um, on this set. Um, first of all, I just want to point out here, these eyepieces, they are printed um, on these um, little one-by-one -one circular plates to obviously represent the eyes. Um, around the rear here, we, rear, sorry, we have this propeller piece, which we can see does spin and spins very well. We have these rear, I guess, like light pieces here um, around at the rear. Um, and the other function on this is either side, we can see there with the orange tip. Um, and again, on the other side, there are flick fire missiles. So they simply can be flicked out for the purpose of this. I'm just going to try and push one out, like so. Um, and again, the same function on the other side. So there we can see that flick fire missile so just place that back in simply like so clicks in place um, down inside here you can see the steering wheel for the penguin to control his crazy duck boat um, and it's just simply a plate there where the penguin can stand inside so that is the view and review of the crazy duck boat Okay, quick view of the penguin character itself. Um, you see with his uh, obviously small little legs. Um, he has the printed torso there. This quite fancy um, looking um, jacket with shirt and tie underneath. Um, he is carrying this umbrella and this weapon here, which we can assume is a remote control for the dynamite, which the penguins are holding, which we will see in a second. So let's just remove those accessories so we can take a closer look. Okay, so there we go, so there's the penguin, so let's take a quick 360 view. You can see there, there is some printing to the rear of that torso also. Obviously comes with his top hat, so let's get that removed now. Okay, there we go, so you can take a better look at the face printing now. Um, looking pretty cool there with his monocle. Okay, so that is the penguin. Okay guys, so next up we have the area where the penguin has um, hid the stolen priceless diamond um, which is being protected by the two robotic penguins which you can see in this shot who are both holding a dynamite. Okay, so first off this is the little sort of ice area where the priceless diamond, which we can see at the top here, um, is being um, hidden. Um, stroke protected by those penguins, robotic penguins, which we'll have a look at in a second, but obviously just a very basic build there. Um, and also again, we can see that diamond piece there. So let's take a look at those robotic penguins. Okay, as can be seen, we have two identical robotic penguins here, both holding dynamite. So just take a close look at one of those now. Okay, so this is actually a build. Um, number of pieces here used to make these little penguins, but I think they do look pretty cool. Um, 
good use of uh, obviously pieces there to represent a penguin. Like I said before, they are holding each holding some dynamite, um, which simply clips into the piece there on the side. Um, at the top here, on top of the heads, these are going to be some antennae or aerials, um, and that's obviously going to be uh, what's making that wireless connection to the pen wings remote control to obviously if he needs to to detonate the dynamite and the robotic pen wings but pretty basic little build but in my opinion I think they look pretty cool these two little pen wings okay and finally let's take a look at Batman okay guys so here we have Batman speeding in on his scuba vehicle so this is the scuba Batman version so first off let's take a quick look at Batman himself now okay so there we go so there's our scuba Batman you can see around the, his neck there his uh, breathing apparatus from his uh, tanks which are on the back which we'll see in a second he's obviously got his scuba outfit on uh, the print in there on the front um, plain blue legs and he's got some black flippers um, on his feet there let's tilt that you can uh, see those flippers there we go okay let's take a 360 view of Batman okay around to that side view you can now see the oxygen tank there on his back there is some rear torso printing so I'll remove the oxygen tank in a second so you can see that Finally back round to the front and obviously we can see this pretty cool looking uh, um, mask piece there and obviously the bat ears um, there too. So let's remove that and the scuba tank as well and take a closer look at the face and I'll show you the rear torso printing. Okay so better look there at the front torso printing. Actually you can see the Batman um, emblem there on the front of his torso. Uh, I'm just going to spin him around and there we can see that rear torso printing um, obviously what you can also see there is the other side of his face printing so that's obviously a mask so you can use him obviously without his um, bat helmet piece on there um, and there we can see that front face, face printing um, also and there we go with that head obviously span round now but all in all I think this is a really awesome minifigure really do like this version okay and finally on to Batman's scuba vehicle uh, first thing I want to point out there on the front of this where you've got the again the Batman the wings etc that is a printed piece which I was uh, pleasantly surprised with um, so yeah, nice printed piece there. Um, okay, quite a basic build, um, representing a scuba vehicle. Um, some of the functions or things you can do is obviously these wing pieces here um, at the rear can be moved into different positions, as too can these ones here. I'll show you there from that angle. Um, you should be able to see that there a bit better, so that can move down into pretty much um, and the same on the other side there so we could put those down into kind of that angle if we wanted to um, obviously that's the handlebars there which Batman holds on to um, at the rear here which is going to be the rear engine detail this spins Hopefully you can see that there spinning um, and the main function on this one is as the same as it was on um, Penguin's duck. We have two flick fire missiles, each represented here with the translucent blue cone pieces, um, one on each side. And again, these just simply flick out or push out. So I'm just going to push one out. There we go, like so. Um, and there's the actual flick fire missile itself. And again, as always, just simply slot it back in, like so, and click that into place. Um, final thing that this does come with um, here we have a harpoon gun um, for Batman so we can just take that out of its uh, clip at the rear like so so there we can now see the harpoon gun which Batman can use 
Okay, so there we go. There we see Batman holding that harpoon gun. And obviously ready to jump onto his scuba vehicle. Okay, guys, there we go. That's my review of this set complete. Just to recap, this is set 76010. Um, the DC Comics Superheroes, Batman, the Penwing Face-Off. Okay, guys, let me know what you think of this set, or indeed the superhero sets. It's not something that I have collected. I've only just started to have a look at a couple of these. I must say, I really do like the Batman in this. Um, he's got some other cool little features too. Um, but let me know what you think, guys. Um, anyway, if you did enjoy this video, please do go ahead and give it that big thumbs up. And as always, if you haven't done so already, please do go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Cheers!